one new term I would like to introduce to you is phase of oscillation. This particle is moving this way. At any time, if we want to point out what is its position, then either we have to give position by telling the displacement, but that does not give us idea whether this is how much it is more going to be there. So telling only displacement does not give idea that how much it has covered more than half, less than half, one fourth or so. Other thing it does not tell us whether it is going up or coming down. We know when it is going up it will reach here at some time and again it will come here when the point S is here. So at this time it is going up or down. We cannot tell because at this displacement it is going to be having both the directions of velocity. So we got another method to tell its position, to tell its address and that method is by quoting this angle. If I tell you that point P in oscillation is at such a position where this angle is 30 degree. What is the information you get? You get an information that I must make it 30 degree here like this. 30 degree. From here I draw a perpendicular here. This is the position at 30 degree. What is the other information? You know it is moving this way. So where it is going up or down? Up. And if I tell you the position this, this I will call angle phase. If I tell you the phase angle of P is 150 degree then turn it by 150 degree that will be 30 from here uh, like this and from here draw a perpendicular again same position but now S is coming this way so can you tell me where P is going up or down at the same position if I tell you 30 degree 30 degree then you will tell me it is at certain distance when it is going up if I tell you 150 degree, it is at the same distance, but it is going down. So if I inform you 30 degree or 50 degree, then you can always tell me whether it is going up or it is going down. Other information, how much is the displacement? What fraction of the complete that is also given by this address? This angle we call phase. If I tell you it is 30 degree, you will put it in this equation. Y is equal to sine 30 is half. So Y is equal to half of the A. You will know it is half of the A. This is the information given. So telling address of a particle during oscillation, the best method is to quote this angle and this we will call phase. Where does it appear? it appear in all the equations of oscillation after sign here. This is phase. This is phase. The angle of trigonometrical function gives the phase here. So please remember this is the phase. And now popular phases. When P is here, how much is omega t? Zero. I draw this oscillation, this oscillation like this in this direction. If I put it in this direction, this is the mean position, this is extreme and this one bottom one is this extreme. The displacement is given by y and the maximum displacement is a that is amplitude. So this is the marking of mean position. This is maximum displacement and this distance is equal to a. This distance is equal to minus a. This is mean position. So start again. Here what is the face of P at the center? 0, 0 degree and S is here, P is here. 
the displacement is zero. So at center, phase is always how much? Zero. Now it goes to one extreme when the time is t by 4. y is equal to a. What is the phase here? 90 degree. That is pi by 2. So at the extreme, the time is t by 4. The phase is pi by 2. The position is called extreme. Now S comes here. P comes here. Again, where is P? At mean position. How much is the angle bait so far? 1 pi, 180 degree. How much is the time passed? T by 2. This is the position. After T by 4, it comes here on oscillation to the mean position. Time t by 2, phase 1 pi, location mean position. Again, t by 4 pass more and this is 3 by 4, 2. Extreme and displacement minus a, phase, this is 1 and half pi. Extreme, phase 1 and half pi, time pass 3 upon 4 time. This is called extreme. The displacement is minus it. This here. So in this way, now again it comes back. Again it comes back. Total time pass t. Total phase 2 pi. 2 pi covered. And position mean displacement 0. It has come here. In this way, when p is moving like this. Its time period is continuously adding up. Its phase is continuously adding up. One more thing remember. That phase after 2 pi, it will not start from 0. After 2 pi, it will be 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi, like that. So if I tell you a body is at 17 pi, where it is? We know that 2 pi makes 1 oscillation divided by 2, 2 8s are 16. It has done 8 oscillation complete. How much is the remaining? 1 pi. For 1 pi, where it is? It is at the mean position and it is going towards left. This is 1 pi. So you know exactly by giving the phase, you know exactly where is the location and in which direction it is going. That is the importance of phase. And I tell you, the phase of a particle is 171 upon 18 pi. You can find out, exactly find out how many oscillation it has completed. And in the last oscillation, whether it is going towards minus, towards plus and at what point it is. So this is the benefit of phase. You will remember the equivalence. What is equivalence? Time t by 4 at that point pi by 2. What is that condition? Extreme. Maximum amplitude. At mean point, 0 amplitude, 0 pi, 2 pi. 0 t by 2, t. And same for negative amplitude. So this is this. Now come to this part. This says that when the displacement is y, the time period has passed is t. At that time, what is our displacement? What is our velocity? What is the acceleration? What is the potential energy? What is kinetic energy at this general point? So these are all the equations at any general point which has displacement y and time is t. And now, what are the values at one extreme and at the other extreme? Which are the things I am discussing? Displacement, velocity, acceleration, potential energy, kinetic energy. Here. So, at mean position, value of all. At extreme position, value of all. We have discussed it earlier. Here it is only tabulation of it. So, please remember this. This table, if you remember, this is going to help you a lot all the quantities at different locations. So this is a must for every student. Now we come to another thing and that is graph of kinetic energy only between 0 to time t by 2. 
here you see energy potential energy zero then zero at extreme when the time is t by 4 it become maximum again it comes back zero zero to maximum maximum to zero time t by 2 zero to maximum maximum to zero this is graph of potential energy and this is a parabola because this has got square in it a square y square so it is potential energy is here potential energy to the power 1 is equal to y to the power 2 so this will be a parabola this at the same time when potential energy is maximum at that time kinetic energy is zero when this is potential energy is maximum at the extreme kinetic energy is zero okay so when potential energy is maximum kinetic energy is zero and this is graph of the kinetic energy when time is equal to zero that is at mean position velocity is maximum kinetic energy is maximum at time is equal to zero kinetic energy is maximum when time is equal to t by 4 at the extreme kinetic energy becomes zero and again when it goes back to mean position kinetic energy become maximum this become maximum so this is for half cycle we can make it for full cycle there will be a repetition of it so this is graph of kinetic energy and potential energy and its frequency is double the frequency of all other parameters why because this completes one cycle in time period t by 2 all other quantities complete cycle in period t that we will see in the next lecture when we make graphs of different quantities okay so this is the summary of it please remember thank you